This video from Sam Forest Help. We're taking a look at applying different tax rates to your PLUs on the ER900 series of registers. So in this video I'm using the 940 model, but the process will be the same across the range. So if you see my previous video, I've shown how to set up different tax rates using the examples of 20% add-in tax VAT um, on tax rate 1 and then 5% add-in VAT on tax rate 2. What we're now going to do is um, apply those tax rates to our uh, different PLUs. Um, it's not as straightforward as you might think, so it's in on page 89 of the manual, there's PLU status programming, and this is what controls the tax settings uh, for each of your products. Um, so it starts off simple, key to PGM, 100 subtotal, and then you enter the PLUs that you want to apply the status to. Uh, but then at the bottom there's this nine digit code, followed by quantity, time and cash, and you basically get the nine digit code for all the different um, status options for the PLU. So this can include things like um, is there an override, a price override enabled, is the PLU a stock item, is the PLU scalable, um, and a lot of fairly advanced things. Um, the default number for each status is zero because that's kind of considered the most popular or the default entry. Um, so we can look at the crucial ones here and I've also done um, I've done a couple of examples. I'm going to program uh, one lot of PLUs with tax one, preset, and then override and discounts enabled, and then um, another load with tax two, um, and then no override on the preset. So they'd be the most common things that you'd change, but it's kind of just a warning when you come to set up the taxes, you are affecting other elements of the PLU status, so it's something to be aware of. So the crucial pages are those 89 and 90 of the manual. Um, once you've worked out your statuses, it's fairly straightforward. Um, so I'll do the top ones first. So key round to PGM, 100 subtotal takes you into PLU status program. And then you, um, the best way, you can do each PLU individually, but it's easier if you've got a group of them with the same status to do them by range. So you basically press the first and last PLU in the range, so I'm doing PLUs 1 to 50, um, and then you enter your code. If you were just doing one PLU, you'd simply press that button and then type in the code. So my code here, so this did, these are the nine digits that I've got from the chart. 4000000004. Quantity time, and then cash. You get a little printout confirming your programming, which we'll take a look at shortly. First of all, I'll program the other lot of PLUs. So again, it's 100 subtotal to go into the status programming. Then you press the first and last PLUs if you're doing them by range. So I've done 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So my first one should be 51. And I'll go all the way to the end, 110. So they're my PLUs that I'm programming with this status here, and that is two one zero 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 zero, followed by the quantity time button, and then cash. I'm done with programming, so I can now turn the key back to the register mode. We can move this out of the way and take a look at um, what's printed out here. So the first lot, PLUs one to fifty set to be preset with preset override enabled and also taxable by tax rate one and my second lot PLUs 51 to 110 uh, preset over uh, sorry preset but with no override no tax rate one and taxable by rate two so we can actually take a look at them now if we put one pound through PLU one I'm expecting this to have the tax enabled or the tax applied even, so £1, 17p tax, um, a better way of proving it because it's 20% would be to ring a pound 20 for it, um, so we're selling a pound with tax on it, so there we go, and then if we take a look at one of the other ones, so let's ring a pound through one of these, oh, no I haven't got preset override enabled, uh, so I can't do that unless they've got a preset price, which they haven't. But the other ones there, once I've programmed a price into them, will be charging the 
tax at 5%. So I hope that video has been helpful. If you've not set up your tax rates already, then check out the other video I've done um, showing you how to set up tax rates 1 and 2. Um, you can also use them for setting up tax rates 3 and 4. And then I'll put another video at the end of this one showing you how to create a tax exempt and a tax shift button if you don't want to automatically apply um, taxes to each PLU. Okay, so check those videos out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.